So direct Coombs test, remember we have two types of Coombs test, just to be clear with Coombs, I am just going to just overview. We have direct Coombs test and we have indirect Coombs test. Direct is when you are doing directly on the cells. So cells are coated by antibody, let us say the cells are coated by just IgG antibody. Okay, two cells are just coated by IgG antibody. Okay, so they are coated by IgG antibody and you just put anti-IgG which agglutinates these two cells together. Okay, and as soon as you put anti-IgG, this is a Coombs anti-sera, as soon as you put it causes agglutination and that is DCT positive. So these are IgG coated cells where the agglutination is positive. Indirect Coombs test is when you want to check the plasma for presence of antibodies. So you don't know whether they are present in cells or not, they are just present in the plasma. Okay, so uh, very typically done blood banking okay compatibility testing you're going to give the blood to any person okay and you want to see that this person so let's say if somebody has to give blood to me okay so uh, and there is a blood bag i have a blood bag here so i have to check whether this blood bag has some antibodies which are uh, against my red cells okay so what, how will i do that so what will i do that so i will just take my cells some of my cells i'll take and put it in this okay so there are so many antigens in our body, isn't it? So RH, KEL, KID, Duffy, so many antigens. So let's say uh, these antibodies are present against, let's say KEL, okay, K let's say KEL. So I have, let's say K on my red cells. I don't know that, okay? So I don't know I have KEL antigen on my red cells, but I, I need a blood today. So you have to give me blood. So now you take a blood bag and you take the plasma from that bag and mix it with my cells, you mix it with my cells. So if this antibody is anti kel antibody, immediately what will happen? All these red cells will become coated by anti kel antibodies. So immediately all these red cells will become coated by anti kel antibodies. Now anti kel antibodies are IgG antibodies, they are incomplete antibodies. Now this was the first step which we did, we added cells. Now after adding cells, we add Coombs anti-sera. Now again we add Coombs anti-sera, that is anti-IgG and C3D. As soon as you add Coombs, these cells bind together. And the third step is agglutination. That means my body has Kel antigen. The blood bag that you are going to give me has anti kel antibody. And if you give this blood bag to me, I am going to get a transfusion reaction. And this is usually a delayed hemolytic transfusion reaction because it's IgG antibody. So you go into the blood bank reactions and study that. So it's a delayed hemolytic transfusion reaction and patient will present with jaundice after 3 to 7 days of transfusion. You understand? So this we have done indirectly. We have just put cells first. Then we added foam sera. So this is indirect. So all the blood compatibility testing is a type of indirect foam test. Or let's, let me give you an example of hemolytic disease of newborn. So in hemolytic disease of newborn, mother makes antibodies against the fetus. So fetal cells are coated by antibodies. So if you take the fetal cells and test it for the Coombs test, that's a direct Coombs test. Whereas mother is producing antibodies. So if you take mother sample and check for the antibody, this is indirect Coombs test. Do you understand that? So these are direct and indirect. For autoimmune hemolytic anemia, we are sorted by direct Coombs test itself. So we just take the cells, put the Coombs here and see if agglutination occur, done, it's positive. Whereas an indirect Coombs test is basically done in blood banking and that's called as compatibility testing. What is that called as? Compatibility testing.